day folks and welcome to review number 10. Today rather than looking at a single item we're going to look at an entire wave. Today we'll look at Transformers Bot Shots Wave 1. So what exactly is a bot shot you may be asking? Basically they are a small super deformed Transformers toy. They have a simple spring-loaded transformation. They can also be used to play a game similar to rock, paper, scissors, but we'll discuss that in a moment. So quickly looking at the packaging of these bot shots, there's three types of packaging that are out there right now. The standard single pack here has a single bot shot in there uh, on a bubble card. It's got the red on the right side of the packaging. The back of the card shows real quick, I wouldn't call it a description of the game, but it uh, gives you the basic idea of it. And uh, you have the other four bot shots shown. Uh, however, there's one that's considered a mystery, the Superbot 001. And the Superbot actually has the other style of packaging. This is Sentinel, the first Superbot. Uh, he's basically just molded in a translucent plastic. The packaging is a little bit different though because it has the blue on the right side instead of the red. And then when you look at the back side, it has all four of them illustrated. There's not the mystery bot. Now the third form of packaging that's out there right now are the three packs. There's an Autobot and a Decepticon three pack out there, which comes with two bot shots and then one super value bot shot. Uh, and then on the back side gives you the three in the three pack and that's pretty much it. So that's a quick look at the packaging. Now the way this game is played is you have to first off select which weapon you want to use. Uh, and like I said this is kind of like rock, paper, scissors. So blaster will beat fist, fist will beat sword, and sword will beat blaster. So the way this is played, you transform your robot into vehicle mode, find another robot also in vehicle mode, and crash them together. You see what each person chose, and then depending on what they chose, you determine who wins. Now if you notice there's also numbers involved here. If, let's say, somebody chose the same the same weapon, then you would go to the numbers to see who wins. Whether you are playing the game or not, these things are pretty fun. I mean, really, who doesn't like crashing things together? Also, given that their name includes the word shots, there are some implied um, variations on the game that could also be entertaining, but I think I'll save that discussion for TFCon. So far, the only bot shot design I have a problem with is Sentinel Prime. Because of the low and narrow profile of his transformation trigger, many times he won't transform at all. This seems to be a design issue, as both of my Sentinels have the same problem. I do also have a problem with my Starscream's feet. The little plastic catch that is supposed to hold his feet up while in jet mode won't grab on, causing his feet to spring back. As a result, it is nearly impossible to transform Starscream into his vehicle mode. Since my Acid Storm seems to be working fine, I think this probably is just a one-off problem, and I'll find a replacement for him. Overall, I'm really getting into these bot shots. They have a cool design aesthetic that reminds me of the Robot Heroes line. But this time around, they actually transform. The transformations are fun, whether you are playing the Bot Shots game or just sitting in your cubicle. Hasbro has also created a Bot Shots website to promote these toys that includes an online game. 
Future bot shots will come with codes to enter on the website to give your online bot shot character power ups. If Hasbro can keep both the toys and the online game fun and entertaining, I think they'll have a hit on their hands.